we've used um, we've used a 3D printer, which is quite high tech, but we've also used simple tools and simple equipment. So we've cut the bamboo using a handsaw, which means that anyone can walk in and do what we've just done very simply. At Bamboo Bicycle Club, we believe in an open source, do-it-yourself attitude, and we believe in the future. That's become more and more important. People will be able to create their own bikes at home, and we'd like that to be a sustainable way. So what we'd like people to be able to do is print out joints, or lugs as they're known in the bicycle industry, and connect them using bamboo that they're growing locally, either in your local park or in your garden. And that's what we believe could create a really good, sustainable future for bicycles. But we've done it in under eight hours, and we've put it together very quickly, and we've ridden it. And it's all come together, and it's the first time it's ever been done. So we're quite pleased with the result and the outcome does work and it does ride as a bike and the next step is just to keep looking further at the technology and how we can improve it. It's a huge achievement, it's taken a lot of work, we've done a lot of background research on all the different technologies, we've looked at bamboo as a material and how we can manipulate it more and really it's, you know, I've been pushing bamboo design now for the last five years so for me it's something that's really interesting and really important that we look at sustainability and we look at more interesting materials for bicycle manufacturing. Certainly with global warming, unfortunately, we've got better and better climates in the UK now for growing bamboo. So it's more than a possibility, and people are already doing it, that we grow all our bamboo locally in the UK. And what it will mean is, imagine when you're born, you plant a bamboo tree or plant, and within eight years, you've got, it's big enough to make a bike. So you almost, you know, you give it as a gift and you can create all different types of bikes in your back garden. And you're offsetting all your CO2 footprint, local manufacturer, sustainable materials, it's, it's a win-win and, and ultimately people can learn and create their own customizable bikes without relying on imports or relying on anyone else. Um, and I think we're going to move more and more towards a craft-driven, do-it-yourself attitude rather than having everything given to us.